hated you. Piled 18 high. Where are you going, man? And them booty cutters, I'd do something special with that. Thank you, cousin. That could be very useful in this city. Hey, Roman. You couldn't send a cab for a cousin in need, could you? You are my cousin, Nico. How can I refuse? There is a cab on its way. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment, and he wants to speak to the feds. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk, on account of you being brain dead and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. <laughs> Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. That guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cunt dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You call. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. Roman is doing well. You see this new car, my friend? Just my luck. So, you, uh... You've been working for Roman long? Ever since I got to this city, my friend. Roman's been screwing me ever since I got here. <laughs> yes. Hey, man, don't talk shit about Roman. If we don't pay fairly, go work for someone else. Yeah, whatever. I don't do this crap for the money anyway. I just here for the pussy, man. Yeah? Girls dig this car, do they? Useful to know. It's not the car, my friend. It's the player driving this shit. I pick up a girl from the airport. I'm gonna be hitting that shit up in a hotel room soon as we get there. For real, man. I had my hands on more tourists than airport security. If a woman turns up at Francis International, then this guy is going to know about her concealed weaponry. You get me? Sure. You bang tourists. I get the point. My friend, I got so much pussy around this town, I'm surprised there's any left for the rest of you chumps. Me too. I must get one of those tree shaped air fresheners if I'm going to be ferrying around tote bags like you. Niggas ab drop, I'm being camera roll, bandanas on silk to yours.
Hi, I'm Dr. Steven von Singer. Now, when my little girl was born, I was more than a little upset. For one, I wanted a pretty child. And secondly, I didn't want her to inherit her mother's looks. After divorcing her mom and disowning her, I've dedicated years of my life to ensure others don't experience this terrible pain of random DNA sequencing. With my subsequent children, each has been perfectly suited to complement and work within my family unit, genetically refined so that my family is perfect, just like in the movies. And now, for the right price, you can too. Dr. Steven Von Singer and his team here at EII have turned a baby from a nasty surprise into a perfect gift. Don't take the chance of having an imperfect baby and being forced to drown it in the bathtub. Choose life, perfectly designed, made for you by science. Visit us on the web at eugenicsincorporated.com. I found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't hey, standing God. by the window? You then use your up? damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. Hey, keep your eyes open. You put the man. shit away. Don't put that shit away. What are you doing here, man? You should go. Hey, hey puta. watch yourself, I'll break right? your fucking kneecaps. I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent. that follows you wherever you go, you know? And you have a special portable toilet if you're if you're too fat to fit in. The craft services table. Awesome. 